Okay, we are here with uh, Salvador uh, Alfonso from uh, You Can't Win Charlie Brown in uh, Jardim de Estrela in Lisbon. And uh, so we can uh, start this interview. Uh, first of all, uh, how, how came that you started to play? Uh, which is the history of your band? Uh, the history... Uh, the two of us, we know each other from, from birth, so we've, we've played music all, all our lives together, we, we learned together. But, but this band specifically, it started in 2009 with uh, Luis, um, Salvador and myself. Uh, the three of us were, were working on songs by, on our own. Um, and we, and it was kind of a coincidence because we we needed people to play with us on our songs, and we all turned to each other. Uh, Luis stopped to me, asked me to play uh, his songs. I asked him to play uh, on my songs, and Salvador as well. So we thought. You know, what's the point of having three different bands with the same people? Let's yeah. let's join forces, and uh, and that's how 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 the band began. And then we we asked, uh, we called David, David, and he was the fourth member. That was the, the original setup for for the first EP in 2009. And then quickly uh, we understood we needed more people to play, and we wanted a, a bigger sound, and so we we got uh, to my and Juan, which are also friends, friends of ours from a long time ago. And uh, how do you compose your music? Uh, which is your approach? How do you... Uh... Our, our, our composition style is maybe... It, it starts always a, like uh, an individual effort from one of the members of the band. And it's not really kind of, you know, rehearsal room and everybody plays, it's more like somebody has an idea, we, we record it and, um, and then we send it to the, other pe to the other guys from the band and everybody puts their ideas in generally through email because we're a lot of people so it's, it's very difficult to, to get the six of us together to rehearse um, on a regular basis uh, because you know David has uh, Noiser, uh, João plays with a number of bands so so that's the, the way we, we, we found that we work better and then obviously at the end we all get together and, and work on the songs but one, only once we know already what to do and uh, which you consider to be your musical influences or uh, what do you listen, what do you like? What do you... We, we listen to, to a lot of things and we're, we're six people so it, that, that makes a lot, a lot of, of influences. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, can, I can only speak for myself but you know there's of course for, since I was little you know stuff like, like the Beatles and uh, and like maybe Paul Simon, you know, that, the stuff my, my parents had. And then over the years, a lot of stuff, maybe more recently, stuff like Animal Collective and, and Grizzly Bear and, and, and stuff like that. But, um, but you know, it's always, influences always come from your whole life experience. So, so it's, it's difficult to sum it down to, to a few bands. And uh, mm, I noticed that uh, you uh, sometimes have been uh, assimilated to some indie folk uh, American bands or art artists like uh, Grizzly Beer, Bon Iver, Scooter Stevens. Do you think that this uh, definition uh, fits? We're, uh, we're, we're, we're okay with that, you know. Com comparisons with other bands are, are you know, it's, it's how, how it works in, in the music business, you know, every time a new band comes, you're compared to other bands, and yeah, I think there's definitely uh, points, common points with, with, with all of those you mentioned, um, but then again, that comes from, from having different members in the band. You, 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 you said Grizzly Bear, uh, Bon Iver and uh, Sufjan Stevens. I, I love, I love uh, Grizzly Bear and Sufjan Stevens, but I like Bon Iver, but I've never really, I've never owned any of his albums or, or listened to it, you know, enough to, to influence me to, to my music. But, but definitely some other people in the band might have that influence, so that, 
that makes, um, like I said, it's, it's six people, so it's six different tastes. And um, the name of the band is uh, related to peanuts, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How came this idea of... Uh, <laughs> you, expl you explained it a lot better than I. <laughs> okay. So, uh, um, well, it was in, uh, in, in 2009 when um, we had recorded some of our first songs, and, and one of our songs was going to be in, a, in a, um, a compilation CD here in Portugal. And, you know, like any other band, we needed a name, and we, we didn't have one. And so it was really like a last minute thing, you know, we, we were rehearsing, we needed a name for the next day because of the compilation. And, um, and the, the room where we, we used to rehearse had lots of uh, books and comic books and, uh, and you know, we were, we had some ideas for names but we weren't happy with any of them. So we started looking at the books and everything. and. And one of them was a Peanuts book called You Can't Play Charlie Brown, and we thought, yeah, that that's it, you know, it, it fits and uh, it's it's different, and and I, I think it works out. Yeah, yeah. really nice. <laughs> and um, can you tell us something about your last track of the Chromatic? Uh -huh. uh, it was our, our, our last record and our, our first our first record uh, full length album. Um, but first of all, it was great because for, for for some of us, it was like the, the big dream from since you're 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 a kid, you know, to have an album recorded, and 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 that was we were really lucky to, to find people that wanted to, to work with us and, and record with us, and um, I don't know, we we tried to do what we always do, which is, which is you know honest music for, for from us and and really for us as well. We, we we never really think about having a concept or trying to fit in a category. We just we just try to do the music we, we, we love and enjoy and and try to be happy with, with, with our work. We never think about, I think we never think yeah. about you know the, are the people going to like this or is it gonna be good for radio. As long as we're happy with it, we're we're fine with that, and that was really the main goal. And uh, and yeah, I think I think it worked out. It was it took a long time recording it because it was also our, our first time doing a, a record, and our producer uh, Ma Mario Felician was also his first time recording uh, an album. So so it was a it was a learning experience, and it, and it was great. And it was mixed by uh, yeah, by Walter Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he he mixed the album in, in in London, where where he lives. We we went to London to mix it with him for for a couple of days, and and that was great. You know, we we love his music. We we already knew his work, so so it was a good match. And uh, ah, the, with the, this label, the yeah. Pataka Discus, how is the, 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 to, we to work with this? Uh, it, it's 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 great. When we when we started recording the album, we we didn't know um, that that we were going to work with with Pataka, but Pataka. But but the but the studio where we recorded is Pataka headquarters, if, mm -hmm. if you like. Mm -hmm. So so Jean Paul. Luis Pataka was also always listening to, to our work and he liked it and he, and he asked if he wanted to, to record to, to release the album by, by the label. And because we, uh, Mario Fisian is his, his, his uh, brother. Yeah. Yeah. And we were... I, I, I think it was a really good match because we... I, I don't know... Uh, if with any other label in Portugal we could have this the kind of relationship that, that we have you know it's it's a, it's a, it's a really close relationship and there's no you know there's no pressure there's there, there, there's we can do what we want and and João Paulo has been great help Pataka has been a, a great help from from the beginning and you know it's a, it's a small it's a small label but with a lot of willpower mm -hmm. And um, you are Portuguese, yeah. but this is not so evident in your music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what, what, uh, the, is there some something uh, of Portuguese in your music, or the, or the fact of being Portuguese affects your music somehow? 
the, the, uh, fact, the fact of being Portuguese, I think, affects every aspect of, of our lives and how we think and, and, and how, how, how we work and how we, we write and, and, and sing. So, in that aspect, you know, we see a lot of Portuguese in there because we see our, ourselves in there. But uh, the main influences are obviously not Portuguese, but I think that's, you know, mainly because of what we grew up listening to. And, um, you know, we grew up in, in the 90s, the, mu the Portuguese music scene wasn't that interesting. Um, so, so all of our influences come from, from America and, and England and other, other places. But if you, if you ask if there's something Portuguese, yeah, there's, there, there's us. And, uh, <laughs> and maybe not specifically in, in the music style, but you know some some of the of the sentiment and some of some of the, the the feel I think has to be Portuguese because because it's what we know. Yeah, it's made by Portuguese people. <laughs> yeah, it's it's our reality. We know nothing else. And uh, something else. Um, it, um, it seems to me that uh, nowadays the Lisbon uh, music scene is very rich, very uh, rich, very brilliant. Uh, is it is easy for a new band, a new musician to 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 play to to, to, well, to, yeah, yeah, it's, to start? To, I think starting is, is is the easiest part, maybe um, because nowadays you know you just have to be creative and, uh, and you know recording is is fairly simple and you have and you have. Uh, some places in Lisbon where, where you can play your music, but, but the, the problem, maybe the main difficulty is, is continuing and, and growing because, um, you know, there aren't that many places. Yeah, we have uh, small resources. To, to yeah, and you don't have that many rooms to play, you know, you have maybe in Lisbon three or four clubs uh, that, that you can that you can go to and play when you when you're starting a band, you know, uh, like Music Box and uh, uh, ZDB, Valeria Zé dos Bois, Santiago Alquimista, and maybe looks you have already to be. Yeah. But after that, you don't you don't have anything really. Or maybe you start to have now, but but. At, when we started, that those were the, the three main places, and um, and they're great. And, and almost every band starts there. The problem is, is afterwards, really. You you have small clubs and big rooms. You don't really have uh, medium size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, you are starting to go abroad also to play. Sorry. You are starting to go. To, to make concerts abroad. Yeah, yeah, you have been yeah. in Texas to this... Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. How was this? Uh, uh, it, was, it, was, it was great. Uh, we, we, did, um, we did two shows and, and they, went, they, went, they went well. Uh, and the, the whole experience was, was great, you know. It's, it's, it's a completely different reality from, from, from playing in Lisbon. Uh, but, but we loved it and the, the reaction was good. We, we did... Um, in order to get there, we did what you call crowd crowdfunding. So we asked, the, really, the, the fans paid for our trip to go there because we didn't have the, the, the money. So so that that was great, and that, that felt really really good, and, and showed that there were a lot of people behind us more than we knew actually. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what do you think about the the, the, the possibility to do download for free the music to share for free? Well, well it's, I'm, I mean, I'm, it doesn't cause me any any problems because it's you know I think it, we, we are in a generation that uh, lived with with uh, downloads, so we we don't have any problems with that. Yeah, we we accept yeah, it. We accept uh, it. It's, it's, something, it's, it's something natural. Yeah, I think it's natural. It's a reality to us. <laughs> yeah, I think it's still important to to you know support the things you love but you know if if not by buying the record you know find some other way you know by, by concert going to concert or, or or anything I think the precisely the, the thing we did to go to Texas the crowdfunding shows that 
that people are, are willing to, to help out the, the bands and the artists they love. Um, we just have to figure out some other way because, you know, records, why go to the record store and spend a lot of money when you can, when you can have the record for free? It's difficult to, to find that. Yeah. Um, I, I personally, when I buy records, I usually look for something, someone that I know will will need, you know, the, the support and, and the money, or maybe because the artwork is really great and it's something that I, I really want to have. But otherwise, I'm I'm okay with with downloading, you know, download or yeah, all of us are. Yeah, all of the, the group members are fine with that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thanks. I want to ask you. Uh, I had the question in my mind now for that, and maybe, maybe it will come up later. And um, uh, for the projects, which are your, your favorite projects? Yeah, oh. we're, uh, we're starting to, to write new songs for the mm -hmm. next album. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right now it's we're, we're really focused on, on you know the summer. We, we have uh, quite some 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 gigs and, and a couple of festivals. Well, yeah, so yeah, 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 you're in, in Portugal, Portugal, so now it's. You know, now right now the priority is, is, is getting those ready, and uh, and hope, hopefully after that we can start really working on on, uh, on album number two. Yeah, we're we're writing. You know, uh, like like I said before, each of us, you know, like on our own, and uh, and once we have the time, we we will all start uh, getting ideas together and making something, you know, comprehensive and that that can make a, a whole album. And, uh, Will you come to Italy sooner or later? Will we have uh, this pleasure? We, so. we would love to. That, yeah. doesn't, that doesn't depend <laughs> on, on us. We would love to. Yeah. Anywhere. But Italy, yeah, definitely. And uh, do you have a fun club? Sorry? Uh, you said that you could go uh, to Texas uh, thanks to the support of your yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have a fun club or no, a club no. or that's uh, the, no, disorganized? Just, yeah, uh, just, just the regular stuff, regular. you know, social networks yeah. and, and stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, now, just in my curiosity, uh, what, uh, what do you know about Italian uh, music? Uh, do, which is your perception? Um, or actually, I was I was thinking about that. I don't I don't really know any. Uh, I may be saying something stupid, but I don't know any anything right now coming from from Italy and the, that at least has, has, has reached me. But at the same time, I've, I've not been really attentive lately. I've been more listening to, to, to world stuff. So I don't know, you tell me if there's something we should, yes, we should, we yes. should check out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I can tell you. Yeah, yeah tell me. Yeah. Oh, there are some bands, but no, I, I must say that uh, Italy is very affected by this uh, nationalist attitude of the of the labels of the persons who work in this uh, sector. So uh, when you make uh, something, it must be uh, must sound Italian. It must sound Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow. We, so we have that that issue here, but I think it's it's starting to. to, to fail. Well, there are some very very good musicians, even if they sing in Italian, and maybe they are just for Italian market. Mm -hmm. For example, Paolo Conte, but which is also very famous in uh, France. Okay. Or for example. Uh, uh, the name is uh, strange. Paolo Conte, Paolo yeah, is very normal. Uh, or Fabrizio De André was an outstanding uh, songwriter, who was also famous abroad. Uh, Lucio Battisti, he died recently, another who died recently is Lucio Battisti. But bands like yours in Italy, not there are, there are, but always with this uh, very uh, target small. Italy. Yeah. Yes, yeah. made in Italy. I, uh, is, yeah. uh, now, the only band that I would never say that they are from Italy is a band called uh, Planet Funk. Maybe you heard about it because they, they are famous abroad and uh, they are selling uh, records all over the world. They are from Naples. I, I know, uh, uh, a Italian band that uh, has a, an album with Mike Petty. I think the, it's called Zoo. Z, uh, Z U. That's yeah, what I can remember. Yeah. It's a heavy metal band. Ah, heavy metal, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one I can remember right now. <laughs> ah, there is another good band uh, that considered the, the Italian radio at uh, the, the Subsonic. Uh, maybe you, uh, yeah, I heard the name. Uh, yes, probably they are the most representative uh, 
indie band, even if they are not indie, because they are, I don't know which label, but now now they made the jump with the, the, yes, to the, 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 the major. To the, the major, yes, but they started like indie, an indie, typical indie band, and then, but they still make uh, quite interesting music. Mm -hmm. Subsonica, yes, it's not easy to, uh, not different to yeah. no. The other ones I, I, I will not know if I will remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a name. I can write you <laughs> down. I will Google it yeah. and I will find okay. it somehow. <laughs> okay, I think it's, it's enough. Thank you very much thank you very to much. Salvador Alfonso. <laughs>